A circuit is a closed conducting path that allows electricity to flow. Circuits can produce light, sound, and heat. On the left, you can see that this bulb is producing light. And on the right, this buzzer is producing a sound that sounds like this. And when electricity goes through a circuit, it always produces heat. Now that heat can be useful like with the electric stove. That circuit is producing enough heat to cook with. But sometimes the heat produced by circuits can be a real problem. On the right, you see a computer that is full of circuits and all of those circuits are producing heat. If a circuit gets too hot, it can burn out and be ruined. And so if that happened in a computer, the computer would stop working. That's why computers have fans inside to keep them from getting too hot. So remember that circuits are closed conducting paths. So a circuit is closed when there are no gaps. And you can see in this diagram that there is a huge gap between those two light bulbs. Electricity only travels through closed circuits. So there can't be any gaps in the circuit for that circuit to work. Switches turn off the components of a circuit by creating a gap in the path. On the left, you can see that there are no gaps in this circuit. So all the light bulbs are glowing and electricity can flow from one side of the battery to the other. But on the right side, you see that the switch is open and that has created a gap in the path. Electricity can no longer go from one side of the battery to the other. So none of the light bulbs in this circuit are glowing. So a circuit must be a closed path and a circuit must be a conducting path. Electricity flows through conductors, not insulators. So on the left, you can see that the gap between these two wires was closed with a piece of aluminum foil. And aluminum is a great conductor because metals are great conductors. And because of that, the circuit is working and the light bulb is on. But on the right, the gap has been filled with a plastic dinosaur. And plastic is an insulator. So even though you might say that this is a closed path, it's not a closed conducting path because plastic is an insulator. So this circuit is not working. So there's a couple basic facts about circuits that you need to know. And one of them is that a circuit always starts at one side of the battery and ends at the other. So you can see on the right that this circuit is working and that's because it starts on one side of the batteries and ends at the other. But the circuit on the left will never work because they tried to start and end that circuit at the same side of the battery. And the batteries must be properly aligned for a circuit to work. On the left, you can see that those batteries are actually facing opposite directions. And so that is never going to work. Those batteries are working against each other and that keeps the light bulb from coming on. But on the right, you can see that those batteries are going the same direction. They're aligned properly and that allows electricity to flow and that light bulb to glow. Electricity can only travel one way through a wire. Electricity cannot go more than one direction at the same time. So in this circuit here, electricity can come out of the battery and go around the circuit in this direction. And you see that those light bulbs that I just went through are working, but the light bulb at the top is not working. That's because for electricity to get to this light bulb and back to the other side of the battery, it would have to go both ways along that wire at the same time and it cannot do that. So this light bulb is not a part of the circuit and it will never glow. And you also have to understand that electricity must go through a bulb for it to operate. Now you can see in this circuit that electricity is traveling through the circuit and causing most of the light bulbs to glow. But the blue light bulb is not glowing. That's because electricity is going by the blue light bulb, not through it. So here you can see that the blue light bulb is working and that's because a wire has been attached to both sides of the blue light bulb. And so now electricity is going through the blue light bulb instead of by it. So if you attach both of your wires to the same side of a light bulb, then it won't work because electricity goes past the light bulb, not through it. And if you only attach one wire to the light bulb, then that light bulb will not be a part of a complete circuit. Electricity can't go to the light bulb and from the light bulb on the same wire. So you need to attach your wires to both sides of the light bulb so that electricity is forced to go through the light bulb. And this is true for any component of a circuit. So bells and buzzers would work the same way. 
you need a wire attached to both sides so that electricity goes through the component of the circuit. So I hope this video has helped you understand some basic facts about circuits. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.